Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. It is Elizabeth, and I am here to kick off this uh, quarter's Super Teams event. And uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, I have a project that I'm going to be doing uh, two parts for it. And hey, Tamara, yay, hola. This is my roomie for uh, backstage. The first part of my project will be now, and then I will finish it at 12.45. All right, so um, we've got eyes on me. You can hear me. So let's get overhead, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to be playing with. This is the Bright and Beautiful Memories and More card pack. And I'm going to be playing with that today. I Every year, I buy the Memories and, More, Memories and More card pack with the intent to create a brag book, and I never do it. So the last Memories and More, I did it. I learned some things. I'm gonna show you some pros and cons. This session, we are going to be making the, the book, and at 12.45 Eastern, we will be decorating the book. And no two books will look alike. The other thing that I have learned is you really will need, uh, makes life a lot easier, the one and three quarter inch punch, which is available on the online store. Currently not available right now. I don't own that punch, but I do own the one and three eighths, so I will be using it. The last book I made, I used the Stylish Shapes dies, and it was a pain. So you, it, the punch is really handy for that. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the book where's the book so this this is the book and the next one i'm going to decorate uh, at 12 45 eastern is going to be different again so oh happy day and then you're just going to go and uh, create these pocket sleeves this is where i'm going to be using the punch and uh, you've got some journaling you've got a, a mat here to put a photo i just cut up some of the cards Again, we've got pocket pullout. And we have another pocket pullout. Oops, I'm gonna show you a trick on sometimes the pockets don't go back in. We've got some journaling. We've got some more journaling here or a photo. I don't love this page. I'm gonna tell you, to be honest with you, I don't like it's too pinky for me. Um, and then we've got another pocket pullout. If you wanted to, you could decorate the back side of the pocket. I did not. We've got another journaling, and we've got just one of the uh, cards from the card pack. Another card from the card pack, more journaling, and then there's the end of the book. So that's the book that I created for this go round. The last memories and more I'm going to show you um, was this one. And this is the one where I used the die instead of the punch. And to do it this way, you had to um, assemble this first and then like uh, do this and then punch, die cut it out and then put it into the book, which left a strip of white down here, which I did not like. And I actually covered them over. You'll see where I've, I've covered them over. Did not like that. And that's by doing it by die cutting it out because you have to have this free so you can die cut it out so just wanted to let you know and then this was another book that really um so somewhat finished but they all look they all look a little bit different okay all right so i put some measurements in the in the description and i'm going to give you some information now so i've done some of it ahead of time so there is one cover and this is a piece of basic white cardstock. I didn't use thick. I think thick would um, uh, tear a little bit or, or not crease as well. So I just, I used just the basic white thick, just basic white, sorry. And then this is the back of the DSP and you need two of these that are six by four and three quarters. And these are, and you need two of these as well eight and a half by seven. And what I've done is I've put tear and tape all across. Uh, it will crack if you, yes, yeah, it will cr definitely crack if you use thick Tamara. Um, so I put tear and tape all along the bottom, the back there. 
I'm going to take this <clears throat> and I'm going to put the side that has the printing, I'm going to put that down. And you can use Tombow glue if you want, but I'm going to say if you're going to use Tombow glue because you want a little bit of wiggle room, put it on the edge. The first card I made, or the first book I made, I sort of scribbled it all through in here and I put it down. And when I flipped it over, I could see all those scrib scribble lines. I didn't like it. So I am going to take my Tombow glue and I'm just going to put uh, along the edges here. And you know, there we go. I should have primed the Tombow glue. Okay. And look, I've got adhesive up there. And I'm just going to wing it and I want to place this in the middle. And just try, I'm eyeballing it, just make sure you've got somewhat even space on all four sides. And now I'm going to take my stylus and I am going to run the stylus along the edge like this. Okay. And my ruler, I put back. I am going to put this point on that grid line. I'm a grid line girl. And that point on that grid line. And then I'm just going to do um, uh, with my stylus. Oh, it's up that side's better. I'm just going to try and make a straight line from that corner right there. This is going to get uh, cut, cut off or snipped off. You don't have to be so particular about it. And I'm going to do the next one. So some of the item or some of the steps, I have already done them and are well, I've already done at least uh, three of them, multiples of them. If there's uh, there's the hinges. I need, uh, I kept one for you to show you how to do it. Um, and then one more. Like this. Okay. I do not own one of the original big pair of scissors that Stampin' Up! used to have, so ignore my contraband here. But I like uh, one clean cut here. So I'm using this pair of scissors here. And I'm just cutting along. I didn't cut right to that point. I didn't score very well because none of the points, I didn't match any of the points. That point I matched. Okay. Get rid of my garbage so I keep have a clean workspace. Okay. And now I'm going to take my tear and tape and put tear and tape along these edges. And this is going to create uh, the front and the back of the of the album. The funnest part is that is that a word? The funnest part for me is actually decorating the album. It can be stressful. Some people find it stressful where to put where to put stuff, but just let your imagination go wild and. You know, you're your worst judge. Uh, if you give that to somebody, uh, they'll never know that you weren't happy with the coordination. Okay. And now I am going to uh, sort of ease that up and burnish that as I go. Get my bone folder. And I'm going to do the other side. This is why the thick won't work because you uh, it will tear. And then I am going to pull off this edge. Because I've used a lot of adhesive because I don't want it to go anywhere. And I want it to be nice and secure. And let me just get that other edge here. Okay. Oh, one thing I should say to do as well. Once once I put both these sides down, there's one little step that really will make a difference in how your book goes together. So let me just put these two down and I'll show you. I almost forgot. Okay. Now that we have those down and really burnish those in, I'm going to take my stylus again and I'm just going to 
reinforce that edge right there or the crease line so that uh, sometimes it goes away when you adhere when you fold stuff over so just fold it down again and now I'm going to pull off I know I have my I have my take a pick tool but it's in the bin behind me and I keep forgetting to bring it out there we go and if the corners don't match up perfectly don't fret and again I'm just going to burnish that we are going to put a piece over here that's going to cover up this stuff to make so that it um, is nice and finished on the inside. And one more. And then you've got, there's the front and the back done. I have also done this before using chipboard. You know the, the specialty designer series paper that has a really thick uh, backing? I've used it. I've used that before as well. Um, uh, to me, it's too thick and it um, doesn't have give. And I find that it rips uh, the edges somewhat. So I prefer to use the the back, the white backing from the designer series, the regular designer series paper. Look at this. Look at me. I'm going to get rid of my garbage here. OK, so now we have the front and the back. Now you need six envelopes and do I have six one two three four five six I have six envelopes I wanted a seventh to share with you something here we go here's the seventh you need to trim the seal off of each end of the envelope so what I've done with the six and I've already done it like this right I have trimmed, uh, whoops, upside down. I've trimmed the sealed end to four and a quarter, and it just takes off a sliver, just like that. Okay, so now you'll have this pocket. Okay, one thing to note in this book, you know, when I was putting, trying to put one of them back in, it was getting caught up here. If the seal breaks at all, this one's okay. So if, if the seal, like right here, breaks at all, use a little bit of Tombow glue to just seal it back up again. And you'll see I'm okay. And I'm okay. Sometimes, uh, yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. So sometimes the seal does break a little bit. Uh, so just seal it back up again. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, that one I needed. Six, okay. Now I'm going to take, I have to remember how to do this. Uh, I'm going to take adhesive. And so those two, those two, and those two I'm going to seal and I'm going to use Tombow glue and when you uh, seal them down make sure that they are nice and even oops my in camera I am come on I think, you know, I was doing this the other day and my, um, uh, I was wondering if different envelope packs are slightly different in size because even though I had them matched up here, they weren't matched up here. But don't worry about that because this is going to get covered. So if they don't match exactly up here, not to worry. So there's two and two more. Like watching paint dry, guys. Okay. Like this. And the important thing is to make sure that they are uh, even on this side. And now we've got two. And now two more. Let me just 
really seal that down and then two more. Okay. However you find it best to line the two up, go for it. And there's the last two. Oh, that one. That's terrible, Elizabeth. Uh, Tombow glue to the rescue. I'm going to do it this way. There we go. That might have been easier all along. I was making it difficult for myself. Okay. So now we have six pockets that are all sealed together. Um, okay. So now you need four strips of five and three quarters by quarter inch. And you need them scored at half inch and three quarters of an inch. And one, two, three, four. And I'm going to put, I'm going to fold those over. Bone folder is your friend in this class, in this, um, in this project. I like this project more for anything than uh, uh, if the Memories and More card pack is sold out, which you don't even need to use it. It just makes the project easier because of the coordination. But you can still make this project without dyes. So if anything gets sold out, you can still make the project. Okay, so now I'm going to just snip off and I'm not measuring anything. I'm just angling off each piece like that. Okay, and you're going to do that on all four. And as, I, as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, okay, what's the next step? What's the next step? I don't know if anyone else is like this, but if one, when you do a project and then you haven't done it for a while, it's like, oh, you have to remember. You have to put your thinking cap on, which is the great thing about this group, because if you go back into all the albums, all of the past projects are there, guys. So you can go back and look at all of the past projects and be inspired all over again if you're looking for the measurements or directions. Okay. And there we go. Getting rid of all that. I, cl I did clean my, my uh, scissors before I came on. I cleaned some blocks before I came on. All right. Now, that's the front to back. Now let's assemble this. This is probably the fiddliest part. I'm going to take this edge and I'm going to adhere it to that edge like that. Okay. Oh, I've looked back at the past, past projects too, Tamara, for um, ideas and uh, directions on how to do stuff. And that was a little, that was a little plug I gave for the group. Uh, and I'm just gonna, the first one is easy, but it gets tricky as you go, as you adhere more on. Okay, so I have the first one down. Now I'm going to fold this over like that. Maybe, can I get fancy here? Okay, there we go. So I'm going to fold that over like that and I'm gonna peel this off. Da, da, da. Musical interlude while I peel this off. And scissors. I actually use my scissors a lot for this. It's easier for me. There we go. And now I'm going to, here's the, here's the other one. Okay. Oh, look at this. I overshot with the adhesive, but you know, it's okay. Cause I'm going to cover that up. And I'm going to adhere this on this edge. So there will be a gusset like this in the middle. Maybe it's better to do it this way. So I'm going to put on my grid paper. So I got a straight line. And that one's straight, that one's straight. And now I'm going to put this down like that because I'm talking to myself. Okay, and it's important to try and keep the the top and bottom um, even. And now I'm going to put 
So here's the first gusset. And there's the mess I made on the inside. You should get rid of that adhesive. There we go. And then there is the second one. Okay. And now I'm going to put on the next gusset. Okay. As I said, it gets trickier as, as you build as you build it up. I'm gonna put it on this line right there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Tear and tape is not as forgiving as the Tombow glue. There we go. And that. Okay. And now I want to put the last one on like here. And again, I want to make sure that I'm even on the top. So I got the adhesive right there and I've got the adhesive down there. I'm going to pull this off and it's on this line, making sure that I'm using the right side. And I'm even at the top and I'm even at the bottom. Okay, so there are the three uh, together. And I'm gonna burnish those in. Okay, that's that's the brag book. That's the beginning of the brag book. Okay, so let me go back out. Okay, so now I've got the top and the bottom. So I've got two left over. I'm going to put one at the top, keeping it even with the edge. Oh, didn't keep that very even. There we go, I'll make it work. And then on the bottom, I'm gonna put another one. And this is what the front is going to um, adhere to the front and back. Okay. Okay, so now there's the front and the back, or the back and the front. And now I'm going to take, these are a little bit bigger. You'll see they're a little bit bigger than the actual brag book. And so you're going to, you're going to have like a, a cover that that's going to be a little bit bigger and so I'm going to adhere it like this again I'm using my grid line so the edge of the adhesive is right there and I'm going to put the edge of the adhesive on that side on that line and where did my scissors go There we go. And now I want to leave the same amount of room at the top and the bottom. Fiddly, yes, I know. Okay, like that. Okay, so that's the top. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom. I'm going to put on the grid line. The edge of the adhesive is right there. And there's the edge of the other adhesive. Oh, you can hear my finger sticking to it. And like that. So here is the book. Now, there you'll notice there is a spine here. Not to worry, we're going to do that uh, in a bit because we now have to take our cardstock and uh, I'm just gonna double check here. Oh, I'm, oh I'm, I'm good. So now we're gonna take cardstock. So this is uh, eight and a half by five and three quarters and it's scored at four and a quarter and you need three of them. So what I did, I took three colors that are in the designer series paper to use as sort of the basis for this uh, project. And so I've cut them in, uh, sorry, I've uh, 
scored them in half. And now the important part here is to make sure that you have them scored really well and cut evenly. So I'm just going to do that and measure each one or line each one up as I go before I adhere them. And you can pick any any colors in the in the out of the designer series paper that you want. I I picked these three because I thought it was uh, very neutral and but fun colors. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to put adhesive on here, and each one is going to go over like that. So each one is going to cover those two flaps that we have. Again, I'm going to use Tombow glue. And make sure you get the edges, the corners. And I am going to put adhesive on both sides. Okay. Oh, did you see what I just did? Did I get adhesive on the book? I did, somewhere. Somewhere I got adhesive on the book. Not a very clean crafter, guys. Okay, and now I'm going to line this one up with that envelope edge like that make sure it's even flip that over flip that over and seal it like this and then you i'm just going to seal it it's fresh free this one's fresh freesia but i do love bubble baths as well i, I Okay, truth be known, I really wanted to use Misty Moonlight because that was my favorite color and was so happy it came back in. But I forgot to order it, so I didn't have any Misty Moonlight. Don't ask me. Sometimes in my mind. And now we're going to do the same with this one. Keep forgetting to get uh, that the camera overhead to be in the overhead camera. Like this. I, I wear t shirts so that I can wipe my, my gooey fingers on my t shirt or my pants. But there we go. And there's the next one. And really. Burnish that down, make sure it gets adhered. So now you can see it's coming together. And the last flap, which had adhesive on it. I know Stampin' Up! doesn't sell the adhesive uh, erasers anymore, but I stocked up on them when when we had them. It's one of my favorite tools. Okay. And now we're going to do the last one like that. I know I'm over overkill on the adhesive. No wonder I got adhesive over everything. Let me just wipe that blob off. And then the last one like this. Okay, now I am going to, I have two sheets, fold over flap, I've done that one, outside cover, inside cover. So I now I have cut two pieces that are five and a half by four and a quarter, and these are to cover the inside like that. Now, see what I did wrong the last time? When I did, when I, made the front i didn't put the side that had the black the writing on it i didn't put it face down and now you can see it so i don't like that i might i'll probably put something over there like if you had the old photo corners you know the uh, stamp up used to have the old photo corner stamp you could like cut corners or cut a triangle and put them on the four corners which i might do in this case uh, just because i don't like i don't like that and now i'm going to put tombow again on here 
and I'm not putting it in the middle because it'll you'll see it and I'm going to put that like this or I could have made this piece bigger or I just might use white out there we go and that's that one and then we're going to do the same on the back like this yeah I might actually uh, do cut out four photo corners and put them on there on both on both uh, front and back okay so there is the book now that we've got the the inside um, done like most of the inside now we're going to do this binding part this part here and I have a piece that is three and a half by six inches and I'm going to score one side on the the long side I'm going to score it at one inch uh, one inch one inch one is what's one inch one inch one inch yeah one inch it's going to score it at one inch most times it will be a one inch from either side but this and then I'm going to score fold that over So this is going to go like this. And now that we have the book created, uh, like all the pages in, I want to take my pencil. Is that pen? That's a pen. Oh, pen, 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 pencil. Here we go, pencil. I'm going to take a pencil and I'm just going to mark a line at the edge here. In most cases, it will be an inch or maybe a slightly off. Let me just double check. Uh, da -da. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. just, it's just slightly off. So I'm going to score it like that. Yeah, it, this was one and a quarter on this, or one and one eighths on this side. Sometimes it works out depending on how you assemble things, and sometimes uh, you need an inch, sometimes you need uh, less than an inch, more than an inch. And then this is going to get put on like that. But before we do that, we want to give it some roundness, some movement. So I'm going to just score at every eighth really gently like this and that's going to give it a little bit uh, look like a binding look like a book and that's what it looks like and now just take your bone folder oh you know what I, you won't be able to see it but on the edge of my desk I'm going to run it over my the edge of my desk with my hand and that way it will get a roundness to it okay and bring up the tear and tape and you're going to put tear and tape down this edge like that and then this edge Tear and tape whenever you're doing something interactive that that uh, needs uh, strength that's going to be moved. That's good to use the tear and tape, and then like this. And then once I've done this, I'm just looking at time. Once I've done this, uh, I will put a cover on the front and back to cover up this seam. First one I did, I did not do that. And you don't have to if you don't want to. I just didn't like seeing that edge, to be honest. Um, da, da, da. I'm singing to myself, trying to, oh, there we go. This is the best way to do it. So now I'm going to put it on that edge like that. It'd be nice if I took off that other piece of tear and tape. 
There we go. Like that. So see, you, you can hardly see it, but there's a seam there. You can work that into the design of the front if you want, but I have um, cut a piece of basic white that will cover both the top and the bottom, but the front and the back. And then the last one. Get dirt in my adhesive all the time. Okay, and then I'm gonna line that one up like that. And then this one like that. And then I'm gonna seal that down. And there is the front and the, and the back. I cut a little high on this side or a little extra on this side, or maybe I didn't adhere it right. So you can go in and just trim that down. It's sticking up a bit. You'll never notice it right there. Okay. And now I have two pieces. That's for the outside cover. I've got all these post-it notes that are six by four and three quarters. Six by four and three quarters. That one's a little high. So I'm just double checking to make sure. Yeah, I'm a little high on both sides. I realized it's not quite six, four and three quarters. It was uh, four and three quarters. Whoops. Uh, six, go with six, six, six. I have one of the old Stampin' Up! trimmers, the guillotine type that, um, oh, come on, that uh, doesn't have the six marked on it. And uh, sometimes it is not quite six. There we go. And where's the other one? There we go. And now that's going to go on the front like that. Okay. Uh, I am going to live dangerously and use my um, Stamp and Seal Plus. And that you don't have to do this. This is just covering that, that edge there. Okay, and then the back. And then I am going to leave it here and um, come back at 1245 and we will finish decorating the inside of it. But there's the, the front. Oh, sorry, I wanted this side of the front. There's the front. And I'll give you, we'll decorate it together and I'll give you some ideas, uh, some tips as we go along decorating, decorating this. All right, so that is part one. This, now this is what, um, this is why I am now doing uh, two parts because I was gonna show you this and then just show you the finished sheets. But now we can actually do the sheets and assemble it together. All right, so, um, oh, thank you very much. I'm glad you liked that, Marilyn and Jan. Um, and I'm not sure who's up next, uh, but somebody, somebody's coming up. Somebody, uh, let's see, I think uh, Tamara can tell us who's, who's coming up next. And uh, I'll be back at 12.45 Eastern and we will finish this baby. All right, uh, amazing Inkster. Oh, thanks. Uh, oh, Tamara is next. Oh my God, how can I not know Tamara is up next? Tamara is up next and she I saw her project. It's phenomenal. Okay, I'll see you back at 1245 Eastern. Bye.